John. John! <laughs> Come in, John. Hi, son. How was school today? Pretty good. Uh, did you uh, learn anything new? Just the usual stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, um, son, life is full of lessons, and uh, you're 13 years old now. You're a young man. I think it's time we had a talk about responsibilities and growing up. But, Dad, I thought we already had that talk. Uh, that was a different uh, talk, uh, son. Uh, see, your older sister has taken a job for the summer, and that means we must talk about the lawn and the lawn mower. Now, this is the lawn, and uh, you are the lawn mower. I'm the lawn mower. What will I get paid? No, minimum wage. Minimum wage? That's over three dollars an hour, isn't it, Dad? No, no, uh, John. I was thinking of the minimum wage. Uh, nothing. Nothing? But, Dad, all my friends get paid for mowing the lawn. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do, son. Let's see how long it takes you to mow the lawn, and uh, then we can negotiate. Okay, Dad. Okay. Now, the first thing you have to do is read the operator's manual. But, Dad, I already did that. You've already read it? Obviously. Then, uh, what's the first thing you do before mowing the lawn? Walk around the yard and make sure there's nothing to run over. Mm -mm, before that. Hmm, I know. Make sure there's fuel in the tank and check the oil. Even before that? Make sure Judy's in the house. Oh, well, that's... Nice that you think of your little sister, but uh, before that, I mean, even before you leave the house, even before you leave your room. What? Your toes. My toes? They're naked. But, Dad, it's hot outside. My feet love to breathe. John, your feet are going to bleed if you don't dress them in a pair of substantial shoes. I mean, you could uh, slip back out of those sandals and step on a piece of glass or uh, pull back on the mower and there go your toes. Okay? Okay. Now, let's see you start the mower. Okay, Dad. I'll go get it. Uh, John. No, John, wait. Uh, we don't need it yet. Let me see you start uh, this mower. What mower? <laughs> this mower. Right here. How do you start it, my boy? Easy. All you have to do is set the throttle and pull the starter rope. Okay. Let's see you do it. Dad, the neighbors will think we're crazy. Will think I'm crazy. John, there's no one looking. The coast is clear. Go ahead. Let her rip. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Uh, that, that's uh, great, son. The uh, mower is running just fine. Here, let me reach over and turn the throttle down just a tad so you can hear me. This is weird, Dad. Never mind that. Now, you're about to be tested. Now, look, I want you to mow forward and cut the grass around that flower bed. Okay, Dad. Uh, John, why are you pushing the mower? How else am I going to get it to go forward? This is... Uh, this is a self-propelled mower. You have only to squeeze the levers to the handlebar, and the mower will pull itself forward. Okay, Dad. I'm squeezing everything. Yeah. That's my boy. I knew you could do it. All right, now. You're doing very well here. You're mowing along, see? Everything's going real well, and all of a sudden, Judy runs out behind that bush. Yeah. <laughs> that was very good. You see, by releasing the upper lever, you disengage the mower blade. And by releasing the lower lever, you stop the drive wheels. Good reflexes. But uh, always hold on to the handlebar. Don't give up control. That was tricky, Dad. You know why your little sister isn't allowed out here when you mow? Because she does dumb things? Well, uh, sort of, but uh, you see, she probably doesn't think about that mower blade whipping around inside there. It could catch a stone or something and shoot it out of there like a bullet. That's why we have a strict rule. No innocent bystanders. Get it? Got it. Good. Now, uh, let's see you mow around that tree. First, I better tell Judy to stay in the house until I finish mowing. <laughs> You're weird. I'm weird, but Dad, it's your game. Uh-oh! Emergency, emergency! Now what? The mower's clogged. What do you do now? First, I stop the mower. 
Get a stick, shove it into the mower, and get rid of the clog. And if the blade is still going, the stick gets wet and goes shooting through a window or something. Oh, that's right. The engine's still running. Okay, first I shut off the engine. And wait for it to stop running. Then I what? And then you take a stick and dig out the clog. Except with our mower, you uh, have to remove the bagger first. But if the engine's off, why can't I just reach in and pull out the clog? Because... You're my son, and I hope I haven't fathered a nincompoop. You know, anything could happen under that. That's all made of metal, and you're made of flesh. Superman could stick his hand under there, and he'd dent the blade. You stick your hand under there, and the blade will more than dent you. Okay, I got rid of the clog. The emergency's over. Now what? Your next mission, whether or not you choose to accept it, is to mow around that tree. Oh, I forgot about that and all the excitement. Now, the important thing in mowing around trees is not to walk into them. Walk into a tree? Sure. You know, a hot day and you're daydreaming and wham, you run the mower right into the tree, which hurts the tree. Or whap, you walk into a branch and the tree hurts you. Okay, I'll watch out for trees. Now, your next challenge is uh, the slope. Let's pretend this is a steep slope, like the one we have out in our backyard. Uh, how are you going to mow it? piece of cake. You just walk up and down. <laughs> Not so easy. What happens if you slip on the way down? I guess I fall on the mower, right? Right. And that means another ouch. So with a walk behind mower, you always go back and forth across the slope, not up and down. So you only go up and down the slope if you're on a riding mower or a tractor. Dad, how long does it take to mow the yard with a walking mower? I don't know. Uh, your sister takes quite a while, but then... Uh, she doesn't like to hurry. It might mess up her hair. How long would it take to mow the yard with a riding mower? Oh. oh, I see. You want to cut the job down so that you'll have more time for doing your homework or doing other chores around the house. Or, or uh, making some money. I thought that if we get a riding mower, then I could make some extra spending money this summer by mowing the neighborhood lawns. Well, you could do that with a regular lawnmower. But I couldn't do as many lawns or make as much money. And it'll teach me how to drive and give me experience on handling the steering wheel and clutch. So I can become a better driver when it's time to get my license. Oh, of course, I see. You're telling me that if I buy you a riding mower, you're going to become a world-famous uh, financier and Grand Prix racing champion, huh? No, 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 no. I'm saying that if you invest in a riding mower, then I can earn some money for college and be a better driver, etc. Etc. Uh, John. John, come here. Walk over here with me. Here, just uh, sit right down there beside me. All right, now, uh, this is your driver's test for your new riding mower. All right, take the wheel now. We'll uh, assume that you've already read the operator's manual. You know where all the controls are and how to use them. Now, we're cruising right along, mowing the grass. What's the first emergency? <laughs> gotcha. You already flunked the test. Never take passengers. That's not fair. You're not a passenger. You're my father. You're giving me the test. You know what I mean. Okay, uh... I'll overlook the infraction this time, but never let your friends or little Judy ride on the riding mower. One slip and you're both in trouble. I promise I'll never let anybody ride the new mower that we don't even have yet. Good. Now, you see that uh, row of bushes up there? Mm-hmm. All right, you're going to have to stop and back up. How are you going to do that? <coughs> don't get carried away here. Go into reverse. Back up. Aha, uh -huh. but you're forgetting one important thing. Always look back before you move back. And keep looking back just in case there's someone back there. And then go forward as soon as possible because it's easier to see where you're going when you're mowing forward than when you're mowing backwards because your eyes are up here and not back here. <laughs> okay. i tell you what. Let's take a walk around in the backyard and I'll show you some very difficult mowing situations. 